The Lion and the Phoenix is based on a painting by Carpaccio from the Accademia Galleries in Venice. It's a painting that I've admired for many years, um, painted around 1500 and really captures the bustling commercial heart of the city around Rialto Bridge at the time. Um, I really love the detail in this painting and um, you know all the architecture and people going about their daily lives. For a long time I had the piece on um, my studio wall but wasn't quite sure how to work with it in this series. I knew that I wanted to show Venice on one side and a counterpart, um, ancient water town that I visited in China on the other, but wasn't quite sure how it was all going to come together. And then the coronavirus um, started to spread and on the news I was seeing footage of China and Italy, the two places I was making work about, um, in lockdown and then a few weeks later I found myself working in lockdown in the UK and then the idea for the piece became clear. Um, what I wanted to do was still show Venice on one side and um, on the other side of the water is Fong Wong, um, an ancient water town in Hunan province. Um, but now all the people have been removed and normal activities suspended and so you're left with a stage set. Um, the tourist boats are empty, the cafes are closed, the tables are stacked up and um, the boats are t tied up under the bridge and there's an emblematic um, rainbow banner which says that everything's going to be okay. Um, there is a kind of strange beauty and tranquility I think in the scene, uh, a stillness and when I was working on it I was thinking about how quickly nature was able to recover once human activity stopped because of the lockdown. Um, the people were talking about how the water and the canals were clearer than they'd been for many years and fish were returning. So the title of the piece, The Lion and the Phoenix, refers to the lion being the symbol of Venice and the phoenix being the symbol of Fong Wong. And the idea of the phoenix, this mythical immortal bird, um, perhaps offers a suggestion of hope that we too will emerge from this challenging time.